Okay, what are we gonna do here is show you how to upload. So once you're at the 3D Polar website, you hit upload. Now you have to know where you have your part and know that you have an STL file. So I've already saved it and located it here. Once you have that, you can just simply click and drag it over from your file explorer, hit upload, and hopefully the internet's a little faster at school than it is here at home where I'm taking this video and then we hit load to build plate once we get here this one luckily it comes out pretty well we've got these gaps here so we'll see how well that works but you can go to placement and nothing shows up until you click on the part I've done that messed that up a lot so we can rotate the part we can do different things like that we also have our print settings all this I'll cover in other videos but I just want to show you generically how you step through it and then you're going to go to print if you just want to keep the generic settings in a generic location which for the most part is typically okay if you look at the little screen there you can see that right in the middle should work just fine. Now as we're screen casting here, you'll be able to see the plate and that's kind of nice to know that it's empty. We're gonna hit start because it already places it in the queue. So always check to make sure you have it in there and that the slicing is completed. Once that's completed, then you should be able to hit the start button and it is now taking off if you take a look at the webcam hopefully you can see that and then see in here that it's moving it's a slight bit of a lag but you could tell the extruders get a heat up the heated beds okay chambers okay it will tell you an approximate time once it gets up here right now it's just checking the height of the bed that's why that little lever sticks out checks it double checks it goes on and we'll get back to this in just a minute okay we are resuming the recording and it has started as you can see hopefully it's gonna start laying a little bit of material you can kind of see the shadow of it if you look on the screen and or the webcam but that's how you print apart on the Dremel 3D printer.